In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called Solving a Polynomial Inequality, Problem Type 2. We're given the inequality here with a polynomial factored on the left-hand side being greater than or equal to zero. So I will start by setting each of these factors equal to zero. First, x plus 8 equals zero. Solving for x, I would have x equals a negative 8. The second factor is x minus 6, setting that equal to 0, and solving for x by adding the 6 over to the other side gives me an x equals 6. And then the third factor, x plus 2, setting that equal to 0, and solving for x by subtracting the 2 over gives us x equals negative 2. So we have three points of interest here, negative 8, 6, and negative 2. I'm going to use that to create a chart, and I'm going to list those out in order. We have negative 8, negative 2, and 6. And then I'm going to take each of these terms, starting with x plus 8, and use this table to indicate where x plus 8 is positive or negative. If I plug any value in for x that's greater than negative 8, this would be a positive. Less than negative 8, it would be negative. Moving to the x minus 6, I notice that it is squared, so I'm actually going to list it twice. So I've got x minus 6 and x minus 6. For this one, any value greater than 6 would be positive. Any value less than 6 would be negative. And again, I'm writing it twice because x minus 6 is listed as a factor twice. And then lastly, the x plus 2, indicating that x plus 2 is going to be positive for any value greater than negative 2. And it's going to be negative for any value less than negative 2. And now that I have all of these expressed for each one of the individual factors. In the original question here, you can see that we're multiplying these. So if I were multiplying four negatives, my result would be a positive. If I'm multiplying three negatives, that would be a negative. Multiplying two negatives is positive, and multiplying four positives is positive. Now that I have these signs, my original question is where this polynomial is greater than or equal to zero. So where is it positive? It is positive to the left of negative 8, and that would be negative infinity to negative 8. And I'm going to use inclusive since it has an equal sign. It could be equal to zero. I'll use inclusive around the negative 8. And then it is also positive or zero when x is larger than negative 2. So a union, I'm again including negative 2 and going all the way to a positive infinity. And in this case, I did not need to list the 6 because at 6, while it's equal to zero, we were looking for greater than or equal to zero. So x values in these intervals would satisfy the inequality.